Shout out to this guy, Dragon Lich, because, well, he might be a Dragon Lich, but he's really a wizard because he's a freaking genius. His intellect is like maxed out. This guy has uncovered a crazy curse or something. His wisdom says, something interesting I noticed, that Coco Channel is rated as a D- on Social Blade. I'm not sure how the rating system works, but all the other Hololive girls I checked were around a B- or B+, or a B. So here we are at Coco's Social Blade, and you can see they do indeed give her a D- rating. What does that mean? Well, let's talk about that. Well, from Social Blade's FAQ page, they have an area with the question, what is the SB rank all about? Unfortunately, the answer doesn't really tell us much of anything. They basically just say, it's an internal algorithm, and we're not going to tell you how it functions. So their algorithm gives Coco a D-, and I think the only thing we can do moving on from here to try to figure out what's going on is to do some comparisons. Here's Korone, and she also has a D-, and all her analytics look really strong, so that's kind of weird. Obviously, moving from Korosan, we gotta take a look at Okayu next, and she also has a D- for some reason. Now I'm just picking randomly. Matsuri has a D- as well. I decided to put in Hololive moments for the lols. I was like, surely they have an F then if they're giving Koro and, you know, the rest of them a, a D- or whatever. But shockingly, Hololive moments has a B+, despite basically destroying their entire channel. Now, before we start going down the really crazy uh, conspiracy rabbit hole or whatever, why don't we talk about Fabuki? because she actually has a B plus rating on her page. So I don't really know what to make about all of this, but even from my small sample size, you can see that most of the girls have a D minus for some reason. Maybe it's because they mostly live stream and don't make videos, but why is Fabuki different? Now a good pal of mine, Rakeda Law, has a channel on YouTube that pretty much exclusively live streams, although he does post videos from time to time, his channel is mostly known for live streaming. And he has a B rating, so again, I don't know what to make of all this. So I gotta be honest, I don't think I'm the guy to solve this mystery. There's just too much to look into. You'd have to compare all these different VTubers, and you probably also have to take a look at various non-Hololive affiliated VTubers as well and their analytics. And then we don't even know really how they're basing this metric entirely, or the, or the algorithm entirely based off what metrics. So maybe it's a waste of time anyways. I don't know, man, this is some weird stuff. But I tell you what, it's October, seemed like a good segment to have kind of a spooky theory thing going on, and I actually have a perfect follow-up coming out right after this video. I'll look forward to catching you guys in that one if you tune in.